Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm just gonna be sitting down and chatting with you guys and applying makeup. Most of this is brand new makeup. I'm, I wanted to do a kind of trying on what has been sent to me in PR because I don't think I've ever done a video like that. I'm always real careful about, I'm not a big, as you've noticed, I'm not a big like PR unboxing um, channel and I don't, one, I don't really get that much PR to do that. And two, I just feel, I don't know, I just feel weird about that. But I did have some products that have been sent to me that have been sitting in a little stack over here for a while. And at first, I'm so thankful for brands for sending me this, these products. And I wanna be able to show them on my channel and talk about them and share them with you guys. And I thought it'd be fun and kind of force me to use new makeup because I feel like I'm just kind of in this rut where I'm doing all the same makeup all the time. And that's not fun to watch. So that's what we are gonna do. Uh, before we do that, I wanna show you guys these little clips. Um, I love them, particularly for videos. They're not really clips I think I would wear um, outside of a video, but I think they do a great job of getting my hair back out of my face when I'm filming, and they're kinda cute. I got these from a local vendor in Dallas when I went to Dallas last weekend for my friend Chelsea's event. Um, I don't have the business card of the, the, the boutique that it was, but I'll leave it in the description box below, their info. I'm sure you could call them maybe and ship, or if you're in the Dallas area, you could check them out. Okay, I've got a lot of product in here, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I would like to try one of these two products. These are by Wander Beauty, and these, were also, these both were sent to me. One is the Hidden Glow Brightening Cream, and one is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I don't wanna use them both because I feel like that might be too much. And I am having a lot of glow. Like I don't know if you guys have noticed in my last videos, but my skin has been so glowy and it's from a product that I'm using. Um, I can't even pronounce the name because I would sound ridiculous because I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. It is the product that uh, Laurel gave to me um, in our skincare Q&A video. I've been using that for a few weeks and. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, do you, like I'm looking the monitor, my skin is glowing. And not to sound so full of myself, but uh, let's do the Hidden Glow Brightening Cream. I think that's what I wanna do. I have been using the oil and I will say it doesn't feel like an oil per se. Uh, so it's called the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And it's got this little pink tint to it. And when you rub it on the skin, it, it doesn't feel like an oil at all, really. It doesn't feel like an oil at all to me. It has a nice kind of light scent. It gives a little bit of a glow, but yeah, it doesn't feel like an oil. So if, I think this would be a great product to use uh, before even you apply your makeup because I don't think it would interfere with your makeup because it's not, like I said, thick and oily. And it is an illuminating face oil, so. All right, let's get started with this. This is the Hidden Glow Brightening Cream. And I actually have not used this yet. This is the first time that I'm using it, so I'm just gonna pump two little pumps on my fingertip. I did already apply my sunscreen and all of that this morning. Ooh, this smells really good. What is the scent? Let me see if I can recognize it in the ingredients. Okay, I don't see it here on the ingredients what this is, but it's a very familiar scent and I can't believe it's not coming to me right now, but it smells like a spa. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells so good. Okay, I'm kind of loving that. All right, so that did give a little bit of a glow. As I said, I think I kind of already had one there, but. Anyway, let's move on to foundation. So for a foundation, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal um, Fresh Wear Foundation. I haven't used this one in a little while and it's very light, so it's good for summer. Very um, kind of liquidy. You can see that it kind of moves down my hand pretty quickly. Not a heavy feeling foundation at all. I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush and I'm just going to apply this in the center of the face, kind of press it, get the coverage, and then blend it down. This is such a nice foundation. It's so light and natural looking and gives the skin a really nice natural glow. It's very easy to blend. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not matte. It's a really, really nice foundation. And I think it is very long wearing, even though it's got a natural finish and doesn't dry down to like necessarily a matte finish, it still stays um, looking the same for a long time. It doesn't look oily or greasy a few hours later. Oh, I need some concealer. I put a little bit on this morning before I left, but my eyes are so dark under my eyes. So yesterday was our pre-order launch day. I'm actually filming this on Friday. Not sure when this video is gonna get up, but um, yesterday was incredible, amazing. <laughs> but as expected, I didn't really sleep well the night before. I kept having dreams about the launch day. And then last night I didn't sleep really well either because Brooklyn woke up around six, not six, three. And she has a really like strong cough. She's fine. It's not like, um, actually, we actually went to the doctor a few days ago and had her tested for everything and she, she's it's just like a little virus but she has had this really bad cough so she came and slept in our room last night and was just coughing and coughing for like two hours so none of us really slept 
So yesterday, you guys, I said this on Instagram a few times throughout the day, but I know some of you probably don't follow me there, but I am overwhelmed by the love and support that you guys showed me yesterday. Um, I mean, it was an incredible day. It far exceeded any expectation or, I mean, I really had no idea what to expect. Like I didn't know, I didn't know, I had no idea. And I can say that what I had hoped for or what I had kind of in my head thought like, oh, it would be great if you know we did this, like, we far exceeded that and I just, I cannot thank you guys enough. Like seriously, I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, okay, so before I get all emotional, let's go into concealer. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer and this was not sent to me in PR. Um, I purchased this myself. And I like this concealer as a um, highlighter, really, or a second concealer. It doesn't, in my opinion, give a whole lot of coverage. Uh, and I got a shade that's a little bit lighter, so I use it for a brightener. But I use this on the days where maybe I don't want to have like a full coverage concealer look, or on the days like today where I already applied concealer in the morning and I just want to add a little bit more. But on its own, I don't think this really gives the coverage that I that I need or want. But on top of the concealer, it's very pretty. So the shade that I have is shade four. It's called Fair. And I actually tried to pick up the shade darker than this at my store, but they were out of it. And I really wanted to take it home that day, so I ended up going lighter. But I think it works well. It definitely gives a nice, like, subtle brightening effect under the eyes. All right, perfect. So this foundation does feel a little tacky, so I definitely want to set the entire face with powder. I'm going to use the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder, and I'm going to use the 104 Tapered Powder Brush. Uh, I'm going to get this right on the tip, kind of blot the excess on my hand just so I don't apply too much powder. And first I'm gonna start under the eyes and just kind of set there. Then I'm going to take it and just apply it in the center of my face real lightly. If you are someone that doesn't really like to apply a whole lot of powder or you have really dry skin but you feel the need to set your foundation, it's always great to kind of load your brush up with powder and then blot it on your hand or a towel or something else rather than going directly from the product to your face. That's just gonna help kind of get off any excess powder that you might apply. You really don't need a lot of loose powder, just a small amount. So next I'm gonna go in and bronze my face and I'm gonna use this bronzer by Bare Minerals. It is the Endless Summer Bronzer in the shade Faux Tan. This was sent to me with a bunch of highlighters a long time ago and I'm so bad I haven't had a chance to use it, but this is what the bronzer looks like. It looks very, very cool tone. I don't see any shimmer to this. This looks pretty much like a nice kind of like satiny matte and I don't have our bronzer brush in front of me so I'm gonna use the 102 Big Big Powder Brush, big guy, but I'm just gonna use the tip of it because I don't want, because this is so big, I don't wanna apply like you know, bronzer all over the face. I really wanna keep it in the areas that I like to apply it. So I'm really just kind of grabbing the, the product on the tip of the brush. And we'll start back here. What do I think? Oh, I can see it on my monitor more so than I can see it here. Let's go apply here. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I, I don't know if that's this my the glow from my skin peeking through, but it's a little bit more on the glowier side than I thought. I think it's my skin though. I don't think it's the product. And it is going on kind of sheer, but again, I'm being very, very, very light-handed with this brush because it is so big. Okay, I do like that. That's nice. I do want to try it on the sides of my nose, and I'm going to switch to this brush. It's by Wander Beauty, and this was actually sent to me along with this other product that I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to use this side of the brush. It's like this contoured kind of blush brush. So we're going to pick that up and apply this on the side and see how that applies. Does this have a scent to it? It does, what does that smell like? It smells like the beach or something, not coconutty, but almost like a suntan lotion. Okay, that almost picked up a little too much. Let me kind of share that out with the other side. Okay, all right, so next let's go ahead and move on to eyebrows, and for brows, I'm gonna use my tried and true NYX Precision Brow Pencil. I'm gonna fill these in real quickly. So now that I have them filled in, I'm gonna go over with the Hourglass Brow Gel. And this guy is pretty much at the end of the road. I need to get some more of this. So for blush, I am loving this palette. This was sent to me by Wander Beauty. It's called Trip for Two, a blush and bronzer duo. Now I have played with the bronzer. It's a little bit on the lighter side for me. It'll give like a, it'll give someone that's a little more fair skin some more color, but for me it doesn't really quite give the level of like warmth that I like. Uh, but it's nice like as a tan kind of highlighter. Uh, but this blush shade right here, it's called Bellini. Oh, it is so beautiful. It's like the perfect pinky peach. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with the tape 
tapered powder brush again. This is the 104 brush by BK Beauty. And I'm just gonna load up the tip of the brush, kind of smile and apply that right on the apples of the cheeks. You can see that it's a really soft, pretty, a very light peach color. You can build it to get a little more color, but it's not gonna initially go on really uh, strong or like too dark, too heavy. Very soft, it's very easy to build, very easy to use. Kind of reminds me of Max Sheer Tone Blushes. If you remember those, they're very, the first application is sheer, but you can build it to get more color. So it's a matte blush, but I am seeing some glow to the cheeks, but I totally think it's this Hidden Glow Brightening Cream because the blush itself is, is pretty true of a matte blush. All right, perfect. Okay, for eyes, I have a couple of different palettes here. I have this one by Bare Minerals. It's called Bounce and Blur Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. It's got some pretty shades in here. I think those three shades over here would be the ones that I would um, kind of play with those. I also have the Camera Ready Cosmetic Busy Art Palette, which I've been grabbing a lot lately. You guys have seen me use this a lot. Um, I did an Instagram Live the other day and I used that palette. And then I have just this palette with some random shades, but some of these are Sydney Grace shades. I don't think I'm gonna use this one today, but how gorgeous is that? Sydney Grace, you guys, if you have not tried her shadows, unbelievable. They are amazing. Such great quality. And I think they're like $6. They're very, very, very affordable um, and fantastic customer service. Heather over there is just, has been such a dream to kind of get to know a little bit better. Uh, but they, she sent me a bunch of um, pans. And so I think I'm going to use, I think we're going to use this one under the eyebrow. And this one is called Milk and Cookies. And it's just this really bright, pretty much a white shade, but not too stark white. It's almost like a creamy white. And it has a sheen to it, not shimmery or frosty or foiled, but a little bit of a sheen. Okay, so that is really, really bright, especially when I use this brush. Um, this is the uh, tapered shader brush. I wanna show you when I use the other, this uh, 201 um, like blended crease brush, how it applies. Same eyeshadow, but I wanna show you the difference in the brush that you choose. And this applies to any brushes. Obviously it's not just BK Beauty brushes, but basically the more dense or firm your brush is, the more product it's gonna pick up. So I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two. This was applied with a very dense, short hair brush. And this was, you know, something a lot uh, like longer hairs, softer, fluffier. You can see it's the exact same eyeshadow, but it looks completely different. Doesn't it look completely different? The payoff is completely different. Okay, now I feel like I need to even myself out, so I'm gonna go back in with this brush and apply it. There we go. Quite a brow highlight, but I like it. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into this Bare Minerals palette, and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It is called, is it called Evening Star? Yeah, it's called Evening Star. Ooh, it's really pretty. It looks a little sheer. Let's see if I can get some good payoff from this. I'm gonna load up my brush and I'm loading up the side of my brush so I really get as much pigment as I can on it. Hmm, that's very, very sheer. Not so good. Yeah, that is very sheer, you guys. I'm gonna set this palette aside, actually. And we are gonna go into, let's go into this Camera Ready Cosmetics palette. And I'm gonna use this shade right here, this like peachy shade on the side. Um, and I'm gonna load my brush up because I know this palette has exceptional payoff in pigment. So I'm gonna load my brush up, same brush. Do you see the difference in payoff between those two shadows? I'm sorry, but that Bare Minerals palette just did not give a good color payoff, it was so sheer. Okay, so I'm gonna just load up my brush and pack it on the lid. So pretty, these shadows are so like creamy mattes. They're just beautiful, they like, apply so evenly. Sometimes with mattes, it's you get like this little skip or you kind of get like a choppy application. Mattes can be difficult to work with. These are so easy to work with, so nice. Okay, so we're gonna leave that there. My lashes are a little distracting, sorry you guys. I think we went a little too long this time. I'm gonna go shorter next time for sure. All right, okay, so next I'm gonna go in my crease and I'm actually gonna use this bronzer from the Wander Beauty palette. I wanna try and apply this in my crease and see how that looks. It's called Costa Rica, And we're just gonna go in, ooh, that is really beautiful. Okay, that is gorgeous. This is like the perfect transition shade. Oh my gosh, that is so, so nice. It's like one shade darker than my skin tone. Okay, yay, I'm excited that I found a use for that bronzer because it's a beautiful color. It's just not dark enough for my face, but it is beautiful on the eyes. Oh my gosh, I love that. So, okay, next I wanna darken the outer corner a tad bit and maybe I should give this Bare Minerals palette another chance. You know what, there's just not a good shade in here for me to do that. These are way too dark and I don't really wanna go really red. And this gold shade, let's see how this pays off. 
so sheer. All of them are so sheer. I'll show you guys, hang on here. And I mean, I'm really digging my finger in here and even the darker ones are so sheer. That is how they look when they swatch. They're just very, very sheer. Not quite enough color for me. Maybe if you like really sheer light colors, you might like this palette, but I just don't think that this would be one that I would really go for. So I am gonna dip back into the Camera Ready Cosmetics pal palette and I'm gonna go with this shade right here, this brown, and I'm just gonna grab it on the tip this is the 202 crease brush. So this is more defined than the last one that I just used. And I'm just gonna apply this right here in the outer corner, just a little bit, just to deepen that up so you can see what that does. Do you see what that does? This brush is gonna deposit a lot more color than that last crease brush. It's not going to sheer out product as well as the other brush, but it still gives a pretty soft blend. So I'm just gonna go and apply that right here. Kind of round out this side a little bit. It got a little straight there. All right, and then I'm gonna take my blended crease brush and just run it over just to soften it. I kinda liked that softened, blown out look. Okay, I really like this color on the lid. It's turning more peachy and pink than I thought it would be. It's nice though. Okay, so I think this bronzer is turning out to be a little muddy. I'm not really a fan. I'm gonna grab my foundation brush and kind of just go over everything to blend it out. But yeah, that bronzer is turning a little muddy. I feel like my face is looking a little muddy. It's hard to tell on camera, but when I'm looking in the mirror, it's a little muddy. For lower lashes, I'm just gonna run, actually, I'm gonna skip the liner and I'm just gonna run an eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. And I'm gonna use the Smudge It brush. This brush is great because it, you can pick up any shadow and it's gonna give the look of liner. It's gonna deepen the shade of the shadow a tad and really give a like true kind of liner look. So I'm grabbing the same brown that I added to the outer corner from the Viseart palette and I'm just running it pretty much halfway, a little more than halfway across my lower lash line. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna pop a little mascara. I'm using the Unlashed by Wander Beauty. I like this mascara for lower liner because it's very light and feathery, so it makes the lashes look soft and natural, not hard or like crispy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, there we go. And last for lips, I'm going to dig in to my little makeup bag here and I'm going to pull out uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Live It Up lipstick. I love this shade. I was looking for my Persona Peach lip gloss because I love that lip gloss. It is my favorite at the moment, but I can't find it. It's lost in one of my purses or makeup bags somewhere. And I'm gonna line my lips with the RMS lip liner in the shade um, Daytime Nude. This shade is like a true lip color. It's like a peachy nude lip color. I mean, it almost matches my exact lip color entirely, which is nice when you're trying to create a little bit more volume on your lips because you can outline it without it looking like you've outlined it. All right, and then Whenever you do outline your lips, it's nice to kind of fill them in so that it wears off evenly and it doesn't, your lipstick doesn't wear off and then you have this overlined lip. And then I'm going to apply, and actually I'm gonna change my mind because Live It Up is pretty pink and I think I wanna stay more nude. So I'm gonna go with the JK Magic. This is part of her Hot Lips 2 collection and it's just a really nice like peachy nude lipstick. I would say it's more on the lighter side. It's really pretty. Okay, I feel the need to set with my long time no shine powder a little bit more because I'm feeling a little too glowy. What do I wanna do here? Let me, I'm gonna grab this Wander Beauty um, brush and I'm gonna use the side that I didn't use. I used this side for that bronzer and I'm gonna use this other side. And I'm just gonna pick up some powder and kind of just mattify the nose a little bit, tone down that bronzer. I'm not, I didn't, not a fan of that bronzer. Unfortunately, I wasn't a fan of the Bare Minerals bronzer or the um, shadow. They just didn't work for me. All right, and this is the completed look. I really like it. So of all the products I use, I think my favorites are definitely the Wander Beauty uh, Blush and Bronzer Palette, the Camera Ready Cosmetics and Viseart Palette. I love this. I'm loving my Sydney and Grace um, shades. I know I only use this one in this tutorial, but I do have uh, another tutorial where I use some more of these that I'll link down below if you wanna check that out. I do like this um, Hidden Glow uh, cream. It's really nice. It's very lightweight and it does give a very slight kind of glow. Oh, you know what I didn't get to try that I wanted to is this Persona highlighter. It's called Cali Glow. This was sent along when I got my lip gloss and I loved it. <gasps> okay. I love, love, love this packaging. It's like this pale, pale nude shade. And here's what the highlighter looks like. It's definitely really, really gold. Too much for my face, I think. I wouldn't really put this on my face. It's beautiful, you guys. This highlighter is beautiful. 
Um, I would use this all over my eyes, actually. Since I already have shadow there, it's gonna be a little difficult to tell, but I think I can still add it to, this is a beautiful product. Wow, that's so pretty. Let me apply a little bit on my face, just so you guys can see. Um, I can tell you right now that I'm, like I said, I'm not a big fan of highlighter on my face, because I think it accentuates texture on my skin, but let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, see, that's intense. This brush is probably a little too much for a product like this because it is gonna pick up more product than you want. Um, let me grab another brush, hang on. So the tapered blush brush, I wouldn't recommend for highlighters that are really intense. And of course, unless you really like that payoff, but for me, it's too much. So I'm gonna go back and kind of sheer this out with more of a like a lighter highlighter brush. And just so you guys can see how this looks. It is really intense, you guys. It's, it's a beautiful product. I personally wouldn't use this on my face, but on the eyes, I think it's stunning. If you like a really intense highlighter on the face, I think you would love it. It's very, very yellow gold. It's a very, very nice product. I will definitely be using this on my eyes. Good job. I've been really impressed with Sona's products. I have her Identity Palette, the original, and I really like that. Her gloss, her liquid lipsticks, um, and then now this, very nice. All right, you guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me all your questions and comments down in the description box below. Again, thank you so, so much for an incredible, credible, we are on day two of our pre-order launch. So thank you guys so much. I'm, I'm just, I am overwhelmed by the support, seriously. I know I keep saying that over and over and I wish there was another way for me to express my gratitude. Um, we are still doing pre orders for the sets on bkbeauty.com. So I'll have that information down below. Hope you guys have a fantastic day as always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.